Preventive and Social Medicine Prevention and Control of Diseases by Dr. Saad Shahid and Dr. Nasir Jamal Prevention Actions aimed at eradicating, eliminating or minimizing the impact of disease and disability or if none of these are feasible, retarding the progress of disease and disability. These are classified in three manners, first controlling the reservoir, second breaking the chain of transmission, and third the susceptible host. Now controlling the reservoir, elimination of the reservoir is considered as the most desirable control measure. However this can be achieved easily in cases of animal reservoir but for human reservoirs special measures are needed to be taken. These comprises early diagnosis, notification, Epidemiological Investigation, Isolation, Treatment and Quarantine Early Diagnosis The first step in the control of a communicable disease is its rapid identification. It gives information about distribution of disease in context of time, place and person. It is made by laboratory procedures. It also helps in initiation of epidemiological investigation. For example, to trace the source of infection from the known cause to the unknown. Notification Under notification, we notify the infectious disease once it is detected or even suspected to higher health authority or district hospital, which will take preventive and control measures to limit those diseases. Certain diseases are notified by National Health Authority to WHO. These include under surveillance by WHO, Laos bond typhus fever, Malaria, Influenza Under IHR, those include Plague, Cholera, etc. Epidemiological Investigation It is the backbone of prevention and control of disease. These investigations are especially made whenever there is a disease outbreak to trace the source of infection. It also tells about the prevalence of disease in a community. Isolation under isolation, we separate the infected person from healthy person till the period of communicability so as to limit the transmission of disease. The important points to be remembered for isolation are number 1. Period of communicability number 2. Mode of spread of disease number 3. Portal of exit Treatment we kill the infectious agent when it is still in the reservoir, it reduces the communicability of disease, decreases the duration of illness and prevents development of secondary cases. Quarantine In this, the movement of healthy susceptible person is limited who are exposed to communicable disease till the longest incubation period. It is of three types. Number one, absolute or strict quarantine. It is applied by health authority to aircraft, trains, road vehicles, ships or containers to prevent the spread of disease, reservoir of disease or vectors of disease. Number 2. Modified quarantine. Partial limitation of movement such as exclusion of children from school as in typhoid and dengue till the maximum incubation period. Number 3. Segregated Quarantine This is the separation of group of people from others for a special consideration so as to limit the transmission of disease. It is applied to prostitutes who are prone to STDs. Breaking the Chain of Transmission In this we interrupt the mode of transmissions which are of two types that is direct and indirect. Interrupting direct transmission. We can do it by using gloves and mask by doing a screening of pregnant lady through torch test, by proper handling of secretion and excretion and by maintaining our personal hygiene. Interrupting indirect transmission Vehicle bond This includes fluid and food. Under fluid, we do disinfection of water by chlorination or by boiling it for 10 minutes or by using RO which will give us bacteria free water. For milk, we do pasteurization that is boiling it and immediately cooling it. For blood, we do a screening of donor before blood transfusion to make it free from infectious agent. For food, it should be properly cooked, properly covered and properly stored. Airborne. 
it can be interpreted by ventilation, dispersion or dilution and by wearing mask in hospitals. Vector bond. It can be interpreted by killing of mosquitoes by spraying, eliminating their breeding places by fumigation, removal of stagnant water, by maintaining personal profile by using mosquito nets, repellent creams like Odomos and repelling incenses like mortine coil, all out, etc. Fomite bone. We do proper disinfection of inanimate articles like bed sheets, clothes, handkerchiefs by boiling, and other articles like pen, mobile, watch by Dettol and Phenol, etc. Unclean hands. According to WHO, 80% of the diseases can be controlled by proper hand washing. We must wash our hands for preventing the spread of germs. It should be done for at least 20 seconds with soap and water or about the time it will take to sing happy birthday twice. Alcohol based sanitizers should be used in the absence of soap and water. Susceptible host By increasing its immunity, we prevent the susceptible host from many communicable diseases. It is an effective way of controlling the spread of infection and can be accomplished by increasing the active and passive immunity of the body. Active immunity It is acquired by insertion of either killed, attenuated or polysaccharide chain of antigen in the body which cannot induce a full fulminant disease but is recognized by the immune system. It leads to the generation of antibodies in future when an actual antigen enters the body host defense mechanism is prepared to fight back and produced a stronger response. It is a long term immunity and is given before exposure of disease. So it has preventive value. The common examples are polio, tetanus, diphtheria and measles. Passive immunity. In this antibodies are made outside the body and ready made antibodies are given against a disease. It is a short term immunity and is given after exposure of disease that is it has therapeutical value example IgA from mother to baby. Combination of active and passive immunity. In this passive immunization is given in conjugation with slow developing active immunization as in rabies, diphtheria and tetanus combination of these two vaccines are given. Chemo profile axis. It means protection from disease or prevention of disease. It is applied to highly susceptible people. It is important because disease can be prevented before exposure. Example, tetracycline is given in cholera and erythromycin in diphtheria. The aim of this AV is not just to enlighten you to the basic principles of prevention and control of diseases, but to bring them into action in our daily life so we can protect ourselves and our loved ones from lot many diseases. So we conclude by saying our goal is to promote health, to preserve health, to restore health and to minimize sufferings.